What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Um, mixed results on Monday. Had some good stuff on DraftKings. Not so good on FanDuel, but we'll go back at it again today. I do want to remind everybody we have uh, partnered with SaberSim. It's an absolutely awesome product. It's my, it's unbelievable the stuff they that you do. They run about a million simulations for all this stuff. And it's a different way of approaching this, but I find them to be more accurate and more effective. We're really excited to be powered by SaberSim now and have them as a partner. And I uh, would love for you to get check out SaberSim through our site. We're only charging a few bucks more than they are. I uh, would love to have you guys join. And we've got our plays of the day. Sheets has his projections, which are just phenomenal. Uh, my, Jake Rohde, 51, my, and myself. We are guys who play one or two lineups a lot of the times in the big ones and then spread out maybe 10 to 20 in the smaller ones and have done just incredibly well over the years. And uh, we, would, we, we think we have a real product to offer that you guys would find useful. So check it out. Please like and uh, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, let your friends know about uh, True DFS. We really are a different site than we were three months ago. And I think we've made some great strides. And thanks to guys like Mark Scalato and a bunch of the other guys on the team, uh, Kenny Heider, Evan Meyer, uh, Eric Haber. We really are making things happen. And we would love for you guys to be a part of it. Also join our Discord, which is, I think, one of the most lively, fun Discords around. And we would love to have you guys. Anyway, with that said, let's get into the plays of the day. All right. So. I broke it down on uh, between DraftKings and FanDuel. There's some differences today, but mostly things are fairly similar. And some of the some of my favorite plays are factoring in ownership, and some of them are just my favorite plays. So I'm going to talk through it really quick. On DraftKings, my pitchers in order right now are Burns, Musgrove, Ray, Irvin, Bueller. Um, Irvin might seem a little thin, but I think there is enough upside. And if you need to save some money in some spots, we don't have quite the studs at the uh, at the minimum cost like we we've had a little bit lately. So I do want to include guys like Irvin into some of my builds, but Burns Musgrove are my favorite two over there on FanDuel. You can see I went a little different. I like the idea of getting a low on Bueller who I think has as good of a chance at a quality start and a win as any of these other guys do, which uh, gives him a boost. I mean, that would be an extra 10 points for you. And obviously the strikeout upside is still there. This Atlanta team is very, very good. Not quite their full strength lineup right now. Uh, so I'm going to try and take advantage and get a little lower ownership on Bueller. Then you can see I have Ray Burns, Irvin, and a lot of it is pricing related. Stack wise, we've got Colorado, Mil Philly, and Milwaukee. Nothing crazy off the board for me there. The thing I'm going to do though, I didn't include them on here, is play Texas. Uh, the Robbie Ray, we know the different range of outcomes. So I do want to include Texas into my mixes, whether that means as a secondary stack for three man, as a full stack for five man, probably not but probably a good four-man stack. You've got a, a walk-heavy pitcher who, who you can run on, who also gives up tons of power. Um, if, if, again, he can be dazzling and just strike everybody out, but if, he doesn't go, if it doesn't go that route, I think there is a huge upside for Texas. So I would put Texas as a 3A over here on DraftKings. And if the ownership goes way too much towards those other teams, I will just play some Texas to get off the chalk. On FanDuel, I have it Milwaukee uh, first, Philly, Boston, Colorado. Uh, Philly is cheaper on or easier to get in on FanDuel. Colorado is cheaper on DraftKings. That's how I'm sort of uh, separating this. I am, in all honesty, going to play a little Kyle Gibson even against Colorado because I don't entirely believe in the lineup. But getting Colorado against Gibson, uh, he does give up a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of hard contact. I'm going to take my shots there, but mostly it's going to be Milwaukee, Philly, Boston, and Colorado on FanDuel. As you can see it with some of my plays coming up, I really like the prices on some of these Boston guys, and I think they're much more playable on FanDuel where you're not paying the same price for them. Or even if you are paying the same price as Philly and Colorado, you have room to do that on FanDuel a little easier than DraftKings for me today. Uh, top spend ups, Harper, Castellanos, Rio Muto, JD Martinez. I don't mind whatever order you have those in. Those are my favorite guys to go after. You could argue Rio Muto being a catcher is the top one. I, I don't care which way you want to go with it, but I, that, that's how I've got it to, you know, divide it up right now. Harper, Castellanos, JD Martinez on FanDuel. Um, I hope I didn't include Martinez twice over there. No, I didn't. Um, I just think that they're all terrific spend ups. Uh, great home. I don't mind Harper in the lefty lefty. Hopefully it keeps a little bit of the ownership down, although it probably won't. Uh, I think he's a really, really strong play all the time and nothing totally out of the blue there. Then we get down into the cheaper range on DraftKings, Tellez, Bethancourt, Mancini, who all have first base eligibility. At least Mancini has outfield eligibility as well. And then Jake Fraley against uh, Musgrove. You also get some leverage because people are playing Musgrove. He's 2,100 on DraftKings, more of a price point play, but uh, you know, he can connect with one and, uh, and you'd be looking really good at 2,100. 
on FanDuel, the guys who are cheap are really good, and they're in my Milwaukee build. Yelich Tellez start, starts it off. Uh, then you've got John Murphy, Sean Murphy and then Colton Wong. I think they're all terrific plays. I really like Milwaukee, and uh, I will be taking my shots there. Uh, as terms of the mid-tier on, on DraftKings, Crone, McMahon, Blackman, sent a trend there with Colorado. Uh, then I've got Semyon and Adolis Garcia as the mid-tiers. You can include as a little bit of a higher, little bit higher spend up, uh, Corey Seager as a little mini Texas stack. I really like that, as I mentioned, to get off of some of the Ray Chalk and also to just, I think there's a really some upside for that offense today, even though I only like like four, four or five of the hitters. Uh, you can always reach for one extra guy and make it a five man, but I like getting the three, four man Texas stacks today. And then we're going to go over to the Boston guys who make up the FanDuel ones that are just too cheap in the mid tier Bogarts, Kiki Hernandez and Trevor Story. I think they're all very, very strong plays today. And uh, that's basically what I've got. I did post all of my early builds on our site. So you get to see exactly how I built. I've got, I believe, I think like 10 different lineups in there right now. So check out the early builds. Uh, if you are a member of True DFS, if you're not, come on and join us soon. Uh, we're really, it's, it's extremely affordable. And again, it's a lot of fun. Uh, jump in the discord, at least for free while it's still free. If you get the chance. And uh, again, uh, we've also got my, my best bets of the day, which so far in the NBA season, not to toot my own horn, I'm uh, down to 82% after going only 75% yesterday, but we're going to get right back after it today. And uh, the NBA regular season was incredible to us. So keep checking out the, the bets of the day. I will also, once the NBA season's over, start launching my home run props. I like to wait a little bit till the NBA season gets going. It won't be till the NBA is over, but maybe in the next two weeks or so is I'll, I'll be doing my home run, home run props of the day. But you can always join us live at 6 Eastern and, and I can answer your questions there if you do have any specific home run props you want to talk about. Anyway, guys, we appreciate you all. Uh, thanks for being loyal to True DFS. And if you're not joined, if you haven't joined us yet, make sure to join us soon. We would love to have you. Anyway. Good luck to everybody today. Uh, for True DFS, I'm Bobby Fies saying good luck, and we will see you at the top of the leaderboards.